today's recognition program. I am Dave Jones, president of the Pennsylvania Emergency Health Services Council. Today I'm accompanied by Jeanette Swade, executive director, and Anthony Deven of the PEHSC executive board. The Bureau of EMS director, Martin, sends his regrets at not being able to attend tonight's ceremony. We are here today to recognize contributions to emergency medical services across the state, region, and locally. EMS in 2024 certainly looks quite different than it did when the first EMS Act was established back in 1985. Different faces, different needs, new procedures, new equipment to care for patients, and new challenges in the readiness and response to calls for service. Today's EMS is a mix of clinical and administrative volunteers and employees working side by side to ensure the availability of care we need for our neighbors, our visitors, and our families. Although the service has seen, recently seen many struggles, including the impact of a global pandemic, along with financial and staffing shortages, <laughs> these volunteers and paid staff continue to deliver excellent medical care during times when stress, danger, and hardship are at their highest level. Today's award recognizes a strong example of this care and compassion as a leader, an innovator, and a mentor dedicated to the community and the people who live, work, and visit there. The selection of this year's award recipient in today's ceremony is a joint project of the Pennsylvania Department of Health, Bureau of DMS, and the Pennsylvania Emergency Health Services Council. The awards nomination process is peer-driven. Individuals and agencies are nominated each year based on their extraordinary service to the community and Pennsylvania's EMS system. Today's award is the 2024 BOS Practitioner of the Year Award. This award honors an individual, basic life support provider who has contributed significantly to the development and growth of emergency medical services in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. The award winner is currently certified by the Pennsylvania Department of Health as an emergency medical responder or emergency medical technician and has made a significant contribution by utilizing their basic life support skills during an emergency situation, by mentoring of pre-hospital care practitioners, in the planning and development of basic life support systems, through research in pre-hospital medicine, or through leadership among peers. This year's award recipient is Roger W. Stevenson of the Newfoundland Area Ambulance Association. Roger W. Stevenson has been a volunteer EMT with the Newfoundland Area Ambulance Association since 1982. In that time, he served as a Corps captain for nearly a decade and as the association's president for three. He has run thousands of calls to service, overseen many changes to EMS, and worked to ensure that Newfoundland was at the leading edge of innovation. Roger helped bring vehicle extrication tools to the area, introduced AET, AEDs to the trucks before they were required equipment, and facilitated the implementation of portable electronic patient care reports, making Newfoundland area ambulance the first in the region to have tablet computers on the ambulances for reporting. Roger has several CPR saves, including a pediatric drowning save, and has assisted in a pre-hospital field delivery. All of these accomplishments were achieved while Roger maintained full-time employment as a US, U.S. Postal System contractor and later as head custodian at the Wallen Pawpack South Elementary School, along with maintaining his family farm. Roger has an unwavering commitment to serve others in their time of need and has inspired many to enter the field and move up through EMS, including current paramedics, flight paramedics, nurses, and at least one physician. In recognition of his outstanding service to the community and dedication to innovation and excellence, we are pleased to present the 2024 BLS Practitioner of the Year Award to Roger W. Stevens. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for what you do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you're always here. Always here. <laughs> <laughs> 